Yo. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. So today we're gonna talk about a couple of things. Um I want to talk about damn, I'm not even prepared, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to talk about what I learned through my day podcast. So I learned a couple of things. Number one, we're gonna continue with the gym Ron, because I finishing that four hour eight hour thing um yeah cut into many pieces but yeah um seize the day seize the day very important invest in the future gather the past and invest in the future i love that phrase from him very very powerful stuff i really like that part really really like that book um what else can i can i kind of like itty bitty throw at you throw at you you person watching what do i want to tell myself in in five to ten or twenty years from now gather those five ten or twenty years and invest it in this year the best this year invest it in today invest it in tomorrow invest everything that you've done into the next the next day the next hour the next second i'm sorry if it's uh, i don't want it to move that much I have this bad habit of moving the table when I talk. All right, I think this is better now. So that's that's it. Gather everything, squeeze, squeeze everything, squeeze every itty bitty piece of value that you can in the day, in the hour, whatever the podcast. Just squeeze it out and just invest that into the next thing. There was years of experience and whatever in art, squeeze what you can and turn it into well, like use that in accounting. I don't know how, but just find a way. There's always a way. Everything is connected. That's another issue that you talked about, Jim Ron. All that is in the video that I sent yesterday. What I video and I put in the description yesterday, but I'm put, uh, but I'm going to put it today as well. So, um, love it. Everything is connected. Poor pity the guy who says, I'm awesome in all my life. Everything is going great. It's just like one thing that's not going so well, but that doesn't matter. It does. It really does. Everything that you do is connected. Everything that you do is connected. If you lack, if you just like don't care, not disciplined enough on your eating habits, it's going to fuck up your energy. It's going to fuck up your finance, your relationships, everything. Everything is connected. Everything is connected. If you have bad organization skills, like you don't clean your fucking room, that's going to affect your mental health. It's going to affect when you go home and you're tired and you see all this crap, you're going to get overwhelmed and get more stressed. That's going to cause you more stress. You're not going to have a better conversation with your family. You're not going to have a better conversation with your family. Relationship starts sucking. So you can't, you don't have like that support system more. It just starts slowly on downhill. Everything affects. Everything is tied together. So if there's something that you feel like you're lacking, maybe you, you have like a big project and you're really, really falling behind on certain things that you say, oh, that doesn't matter. I I truly think it does. In my case, I truly think that I don't, I don't, I don't want to miss out on, I don't want to like, miss certain things just because i'm busy on one big project or whatever i know like a lot of people you have to do that sacrifice you have to but to just do the bare minimum to to keep everything else in a good level that's what you have to do and i'm not i'm not with those morning routines we have like a middle life i'm not with those morning routines like you have to do this this uh, do this and that this and that you have to wake up hold plunge meditation gratitude this and that this is a journal for 50 hours do this and this is i mean like ah, fuck that excuse my language but screw that i mean you can't do everything you can't do everything and that's normal but it doesn't mean that one day you can't Meditate, whatever. Another day you can't read. You know? Switch it up. That's what I'm saying. Switch it up a bit. I want to do exercise. Doesn't mean like every fucking day I can. I could do a little bit. And some days I can't even do that. Because I'm busy. I'm tired. La la la. And that's fine. As long as you consistently do it. Like as consistent as it is. Enough for you to see you're progressing. And if it's really your goal. You're really like your breath. 
future you. My name is Brett, by the way. Future, future you. F future me. I'm saying I'm yelling to you, the audience, but it's myself, all right? This is it. So I'm not telling you, audience, to do it. I'm telling myself. I don't want to give advice here. This is what I'm learning, what I'm sharing. Um, yeah. So what was I going to say? Oh, about about um, being consistent. If it's a big project that you want, then yes, write it down. Have Put it on a journal and write down. I'm going to finish my journal list. This is my last entry um, of the day. As in, this is my last thing I have to do today, which is just do a video, post it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, that. Quick thing. Um, rent. Yes. I'm behind on rent. All of this, and I'm behind on rent. I miscalculated, because here's the thing. I'm pretty sure some of you can relate. You, oh, shit, I moved it. You calculate your paycheck, your bi-weekly paycheck, and you say, on Friday, I'm going to get this amount. Since I started in the middle of the month, I worked one week that goes towards the paycheck for this Friday, three days from now. But the week I'm working right now, I'm not going to get paid until March 15th. So that's two weeks from this Friday, and that's technically three weeks away. So I'm working a week. I'm going to get paid three weeks in advance. I'm like, I, I calculated that with yesterday, with, sorry, last week and this week, I'll have enough to pay for my rent right now. Um, like just enough. But then I miscalculated because it turns out it's not in the same payroll, not in the same payment period. So now I'm like, I'm I'm going to be behind rent. And I've never been behind rent before. And I feel really bad. Um, they're nice enough to understand. But I really wanted to give them more time. It's Tuesday, Tuesday night. I really want, like, if I, if I knew, if I really knew, I checked today. But if I really knew, I would have told them before. And, or, or I would have found a way to talk to someone you know, get that rent money, but, but well, what can you do? I really do, I really dislike that part of the job, but you have to be grateful that you have a job, so that's good, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, it is kind of hard, um, keeping track of all of these things, sometimes, like, in my case, I just got back from the job, and I forgot that, that, that was a thing, and I really kind of, like, um, you know, messes up, messes up a lot of things, I wish it would have been, easier it would have been way easier if i get paid every friday or at least you know i get paid for my for the days that i work like i don't get you know what i mean like it isn't deferred to a later payment like if i work this week and tomorrow's week i get paid this friday but the last two weeks not the two weeks before the last you know you know two weeks way like two like three weeks before you know what i mean it's just uh, why you have to do it that way Messing up my, messing up my plans. Yeah, um, a lot. Of, I know a lot of people that, that um, that have been, been late rent multiple times. I think, I think in some places it's kind of normal, normal that way. And it's, I, I understand living paycheck to paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. I'm gonna be living paycheck to paycheck up until April. So like, I already know, like, I'm more, if I earn this amount, because I got robbed in the start of this year. So it's not like, um, I plan, I, I try to plan ahead. But, but yeah, sorry, I heard something. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, it's nine minutes. I was going to be five minutes, guys. I'm sorry, but I wanted to add, include this so you guys understand how it is to live to live in today's world sometimes you're late sometimes you're not late you're not late and that's how it is all right see you